Welcome back to Feral Heart. It's me again. And today I'm going to show y'all how to install Feral Heart animations, or more specifically, how to convert animations to be compatible with Feral Heart 1.17. There are a lot of different third party animations for Feral Heart, but a lot of them need to be updated to work with Feral Heart 1.17. In the good old days, you could download your favorite animations from your favorite creators, drag, drop, and replace the old files, and they'd be installed. Now, you can still install animations like this if they're designed to work with 1.17, but for most, as soon as you install them and run the game, the game crashes. This is because in Feral Heart 1.17, they added the ability to change tail size, which is actually an additional animation, which the older versions are missing. So all we gotta do is add the tail animation to the old animations, and they will be compatible. Warning, this is going to be a complicated tutorial, and if you do it wrong, you may have to reinstall Feral Heart. But follow along, and I promise we can get it working. This technique should work with all animations. Just pick whichever ones you're interested or your favorite creator. For this tutorial, I arbitrarily picked Gold slash Aqua Chocobo's animations simply because they're well known. As usual, all related links will be linked in the description if you need them. Download whatever animation pack you want. Extract it. and leave this window open. Now it gets a little complicated. We need to download the Ogre command line tools to work on this file. Wait for this stupid loading thing to end and then we can download the command line tools. Link in the description. Once it's downloaded, extract it and open the extracted file. Inside, we'll find the tools we need to update the animation. Now we go back to the folder that I told you to leave open. Now this gets janky, so bear with me. We grab the C body skeleton file and drag and drop it on top of the ogre XML converter exe file. This black line that pops up is the command line that just means it's doing its stuff. Now over here, we'll see that a new C body skeleton XML file has been created. Now we'll right click on this file and hit open with to open in a text editor. I'll be using Notepad. If Notepad doesn't show up in this menu, simply hit Browse and go to Computer, Windows, C, Windows, and scroll down to Notepad EXE, then press Open. Now Notepad will be an option on this window. Now we've opened the file. This whole thing is the actual animation itself. Now we press Control F to open the Find function and type in Animation. This is the beginning of the animation block. Now here's where we copy the tail animation into this file. Problem is the specific chunk of code that we need to paste in is different for each skeleton, be it canine or feline. So make sure you have the specific one, links in the description. I'm using canine, so I will copy this chunk of code. It won't let you right click, so just press Ctrl C. Now, back in the file we have open in Notepad, make sure your cursor is directly to the right of the file that says animations to the right of the greater than symbol. Press enter to begin a new line and paste the code we just copied. Now save the file. Now go back to the two windows we had open before now we take the new file we were just editing and drag it on top of the ogre xml converter exe just like we did with the first file you'll see that command line wall pops up again for a second and it looks like nothing happened but the original cbody.skeleton file up top actually just got replaced with the updated version now open a new window and navigate to computer windows c feral heart media models Now don't grab the cbody.skeleton.xml file we were just editing. What you want to do is grab the cbody.skeleton file up top that I told you was just replaced. Drag and drop it into the Feral Heart folder and replace the old cbody.skeleton file. And it's done. The animation has been updated and installed. As soon as you log in, you'll start to realize that your animations have updated. 
With this particular animation, my resting pose looks a little more natural, and I do this little funny thing with my paw. And that's how to install and update animations for Feral Heart 1.17. Anyway, hope you have fun, hope you can enjoy installing your animations, and until next time, see ya. The problem is, the tail animation segment is different for different skeletons. So your canine, or what's it called? What's it called? Why am I an idiot? What do they call this? Kitties and there's doggies. A canine? No, canine is a dog. Canine feline. I'm a dummy. <laughs>